Hello pen friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing an Atlas haul. For those of you who have been on the channel for a little while or know a little bit about fountain pens, you'll know this is going to be a pen and ink haul. Stay tuned. Welcome back lovelies. Today we have a we have three new pens. They came in two different packages. So the first one we have a Laban, a Twisby, and some gorgeous inks. And if you stay tuned to the end, you will see the second package that arrived. The inks I got are Jacques Orban 1670 Emerald de Chevreur, which is a lovely teal with a gold shimmer. I then got a full bottle of Ferris Wheel Press Blushing Mushroom. Thank you so much to Swimstigal for giving me a sample of that so I could try it out and loved it. It's so gorgeous. And the last one I got is Diamond 2021 Inkvent Calendar Winter Miracle. This is a purple ink with a green sheen and a silver shimmer. The first pen I got is a Twisby Eco in white and rose gold. This is my first stub nib. It is a italics 1.1 stub. I have never tried one of these before, so I'm super, super excited to see what a stub nib is like. Normally this is more of a fine rounded point to it, and you can see this one is flat. This is hopefully I'll learn how to do calligraphy with the help of this straight nib. I'm really, really excited to try that out. Again, this was something that I've learned about from the Discord group. If you are interested in making some pen friends, click down in the description box below and head on over to Discord and you can be get in on all the conversations and all things stationary. The next pen is, of course, another Laban. I know, I know. Can you tell I'm starting to have a favorite brand? And if so, right now, pause the video, drop down in the comments below, guess what you think my favorite top three brands are. If you've been watching the channel for a little while, you may already know, but uh, drop down in the description box below. Tell me what you think my top three are in order of favorite. Oh, wait. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to look at this beautiful pen. So this is the Le Bon Antique Brass and White. It is a very heavy pen. It is lovely. It is definitely, it is a metal body as opposed to a resin, which most of my pens are resin bodies. And again, it's got that gorgeous Le Bon nib. Ah, oh, it is so beautiful. Ugh, and look at that body. She is beautiful. I cannot wait to ink this up. And of course you have the lovely Le Bon across the band in the middle. What a beautiful shape to that arm there. And it's got the brass finials top and bottom. Oh, it has got a beautiful weight. I would not post this, not because it doesn't post, it posts quite well, it's, it fits snugly, but the weight of this pen, I would not want to post it and add that weight. Taking the cap off, it takes a, a chunk of the weight off. It is lovely. If you like a heavy pen, this is definitely an option for you. It is glorious. And as I promised, there is one more pen that came in a separate package. This is a Banu Talisman, which I have not tried a talisman yet. This is a Banu Talisman in lavender. Now the talisman series of Banu pens actually find a way to put the item that is a talisman of into the pen. So in this case, it's lavender actually embedded into the resin. With their four leaf clover one, each pen has a four leaf clover in the resin. There's like glittery chunks of four leaf clover icons, but it actually has a four leaf clover in each pen. Um, this one, because lavender has such a strong smell, man, the moment I opened up the sleeve, I could smell the lavender. It's very strong. I don't know if that's going to fade over time. Not unpleasant. It's a pleasant smell. 
If you like lavender, you'll love this. If you hate lavender, maybe avoid this one. But it is a lovely smell. I have, like I said, I will have to come back and let you guys know later how strong this remains. The fact that it's in the resin kind of makes me think it's not going to fade. But we'll see in time. It has this dark deep purple and then this really light lilac color and then it's got these purple and fuchsia and gold chunks of glitter it has this lovely sort of turtle shell facets as opposed to the euphoria that has those clean diamond facets has a really solid clip and once again two and a half turns opens the cap Oh, I love the Schmidt nibs. All the Banu pens use a Schmidt nib, and it's got this lovely scroll work at the edges, that beautiful scroll M in the very center, but it is just beautiful. It comes with a cartridge converter and is just simply divine. It is an absolutely lovely pen. Very lightweight, feels great in my hands, and look how pretty she is. Now I am going to have to figure out what to ink this up with. I have so many purple inks. Last month we did a color study in orange and I'm thinking oh, with this one we're going to have to do a color study in purple to just sort of compare some of the inks I have and figure out what the best ink for this pen is. I'm trying to fight the urge to just put Purple Jade Rabbit in it because that's kind of my go-to purple. I love it, but I want to try out other purples. So that's what I think we're going to do, I don't know, maybe next week. So if that sounds like something you want to see, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come back and see that video next week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Drop down in the comments below, what is your favorite purple ink? And what would you love your pen to smell like? If you could get your favorite smell into a pen, what would your Banu talisman be? Drop it down in the comments below. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on everything I got in this haul. Don't forget, if you want to get your own Atlas haul, use the discount code Nicole at checkout. Use the link in the description box below to get to the website and you will save 10% on your purchase. If you want to see more content from me, be sure to check me out on TikTok, Instagram, and Patreon. All of that's linked in the description box below. Or if you want to hang out with me and fellow stationary enthusiasts, check out the Discord server, also linked in the description box below. Thanks so much for coming out, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!